Why do animals need IV fluids? This is a bag of IV fluids going through a pump, going into a catheter in a dog's vein. This is, the, this is another example. Well, dogs need IV fluids when they need, they need the water and the electrolytes and some medicines, but can't take it inside orally. This old dog ate something that caused severe bloody diarrhea. And it just, it was actually down and out today. Um, but now with the proper, it, it was had a low potassium and low blood sugar. And I put sugar in the bag along with some potassium and, and Reese's. Reese's. Reese looks a lot better, don't you, Reese? But Reese still doesn't want to eat, but he was actually kind of passed out on the side and really looked bad, but now Reese looks better. But Reese doesn't want to eat or drink, so if you, could, you have good old food like that and you don't want to eat or drink, you need nutrition in the bag. And that's what Reese, the, the problem Reese has. Where Susie is an older dog that's a diabetic. And Susie's kidneys aren't doing very good. And her diabetes is out of control. And she's not eating, so we're trying to regulate her blood sugar with insulin. And we're trying to get her to eat a little more. But she needs fluids running through the catheter in her vein from this bag to keep her going while we try to get her back her appetite and her thirst so she can get the water in by herself. So with us, you know, we need to take in water all the time too. In fact, if I couldn't do this simple fact of just drinking water like this, I would need an IV because what you get water from the fluids you drink. Ah, oh, that's good. And also from the food you eat, like apples and bananas, vegetables, meat, all has moisture in it. So, well, that's how we lose moisture. We lose moisture when we urinate or defecate. So we have to keep up with those fluid losses by drinking enough water to offset those. But what if I had diarrhea or, or vomited a lot? I couldn't keep up with that water loss, so I would need IV fluids if I'm sick to keep that, keep my body working right. I think that we have to help them by giving them water, either in an IV catheter or moist food, or in sub-Q fluids. And I'll show you how this is done how we give subcute fluids to, to cats that are hard to keep by these. Yeah. Another time, another place we use IV catheters is when we want to give fluids during surgery. It's like this little kitty that's going to have a bladder surgery to take a stone out of his bladder. If we put a catheter in and we administer fluids, it helps keep the kidneys and liver flushed out. And that helps the body do a good job getting rid of the anesthetic and helps the blood pressure stay up to, to service all the body's organs. That way the cat stays, or dog stays, really healthy during surgery. Q fluids can be given to cats that need some fluids over a day or so because they have had kidney problems or just don't have a good appetite or a little dehydrated and it makes a big lump under the skin and we use a bag and we actually fill it up with a fill the air up around the bag with a bike pump and force the water under the skin the cat looks a little bit like a camel but that's a lot easier than keeping cats in a cage with an IV catheter they just hate it Animals need IV fluids because they, they don't feel like eating. When they don't feel like eating, we run the fluids in at a certain rate. And this pump pushes them in. And you can see it dripping at a certain rate. And sometimes we add things to it like potassium because when the animals don't eat and they vomit, then they lose valuable minerals. And this poor little thing he has pancreatitis, so he needs IV fluids to keep him going. 
Why do we give animals IV fluids? This little puppy's getting an IV fluid, getting IV fluids through a catheter. The catheter is a little, little plastic tube that's inserted in the vein. What it does is, if we have the plastic tube in there, then we don't have to keep puncturing it with stainless steel in, and the veins wouldn't hold up anyway. They would get leaky. This little guy got hit by a car yesterday and, and was kind of out of it. And he's still not feeling real good. But while he's not able to eat or drink, he's got to get some fluid. And that's what the tubes are for. That's what IV fluids are for. If an animal can't drink and it can't eat, it can't supply its body with fluids. And what happens? Does your body run out of fluids? Well, think about it. Think about your mouth. You always have saliva. You can feel it running into your mouth. You swallow it. But your body's always producing liquids. And then you're getting rid of them whenever you go to the bathroom. And our bathroom's right over there, by the way. You get rid of liquid. When you pee, or urinate, like a doctor should say, you get rid of fluid, and you have to replace that. Plus, your body uses fluid to nourish the cells in your body, and to keep your heart beating, and all the important things. And you lose fluid also every day by evaporation. Your skin's trying to keep it in, but it's evaporating now. So these little guys need to have fluid, and we use, as you see, in See in the vid other videos I have, we use uh, sterilized salt water, basically lactated ringers and sodium chloride, and we run it through a pump. Um, and we run it at a rate that's, uh, that each dog needs to supply itself with the fluids. Until an animal eats or drinks, we have to keep them on IV fluids. And so I always say, gosh, when an animal eats, then, then it can go home. But you can tell this little puppy doesn't feel too good. Hey, hey, you, you're on, you want to eat some baby food? We feed them baby food when they're sick. Sometimes they say, would you like some baby food? Do you have a headache? Yeah. Baby food is great. So if you have a sick dog, if you have a dog that throws up, you can always give it Pepsi. A 20 milligram Pepsi AC, you get it right from the drugstore and you can uh, give them a pill a day for vomiting. So this little puppy, look, and this is baby food. You know what's so great about it? Is it's got water in it. So water is a great component. We all need it to keep our body going. And that's why I really like baby food. I think he's, I think he's feeling better. So you can use baby food. You can use Pepsi if they vomit. And so we're going to, puppy doesn't feel too good, but I'm thinking with him doing this well, as long as he keeps it down now and doesn't vomit, he could probably go home on some, med some nausea medicine and some antibiotics. Because he got hit by a car yesterday, he mainly has a concussion. Huh. What do you think? You like that a little more? Yeah, you're, you're chowing down. Well, I think I'm going to go ahead. Let's see if you like the bottle. You want the bottle? So all you, if your dog has a, your dog's uh, got diarrhea, you can even mix uh, baby food and a little white rice, and that's really good to for a dog with uh, diarrhea. Look at his mouth, <laughs> got it all over his, got it all over your lips. But he can wash those up. Does that make you feel better? Huh? Okay. Cut that. So how do you tell if your little dog's dehydrated? Well, the classic thing people always say is if, if the nose is cold and wet, then the animal's not sick. That's because when the nose is dry, your dog or cat might be dehydrated. They evaporate moisture out of their nose, and if they're dehydrated, they, they're not going to evaporate any moisture out of their nose because the moisture, they're not sweating. They're not sweating out their nose and also dark sweat from, the, from their pads. So their nose will be dry if they're dehydrated. Another well, I got interrupted as you do in a clinic, but another thing you can tell if a dog's gums or mucous membranes are dry and tacky, and if you pinch their skin and it stands up at all, 
for a period of time, then it means your dog's dehydrated and needs fluids. You can use baby food, you can use Pedialyte and uh, to get your dogs rehydrated. And also, always go take them to the vet if they're in trouble. Check out my website, Dog Dish Diet. I just published a new ebook about home cooking for your pets, and I have some information about cats in there too. I hope the video uh, made sense. I had to take away an older one and put this newer one in. That I put in I, the older one I had yesterday because the sound was off and I noticed the end got interrupted. But anyway, I've been away for a few weeks, so I'll try to make some videos and try to keep the information coming. Have a great day and check out Dog Dish Diet if you want to learn about feeding better ingredients. You know, nutrition is the whole ball game. The healthier you keep your animals, the less prone they are to pro chronic medical problems. And it will save you money on food and save you money at the vet. Have a great day.